You got waterfalls, boiling lakes, emerald, crystal blue pools like this one here. It's called the Mermaid Pool. Amazing hiking, beautiful mountains, endemic species, and it's also got its very own uh, resident pod of sperm whales, which I wasn't able to see, but apparently they're amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this was a bit of an eye-opening trip to one of the least visited countries in the Eastern Caribbean, Dominica. Many people often confuse this place with the Dominican Republic, but it is very, very different. The island nature in itself is about the same size as the city of Chicago, but with a population of around 80,000 people. Hi, Pearl. Hi, Pearl. <laughs> That's your name, Pearl. English is the official language, but Dominican Creole is still spoken by many. Across the island, you've got lush rainforests, stunning waterfalls, and insane diving and snorkeling spots, which even include, as I mentioned earlier, sperm whales. How awesome is that? Sadly though, most visitors to Dominica are the cruise ship lot, who just visit for half a day or a day at max. I got to Dominica in 2019 and spent a solid week there. Simple public transport exists, but I decided to rent a car. Hello. Bump. Now, although the public transport in Dominica actually isn't so bad, there's basically buses everywhere. Hi! That run most days apart from Sunday. I decided to rent a car because it just gives me a bit of freedom of movement. And cost-wise, not too bad. About 70 US dollars a day, including insurance. And I worked out that if I rent a car and stay in things like hammocks and dorm rooms, then I actually end up saving money. Road-wise, um, most of the roads in Dominica look like this. Not exactly new but manageable. But there are some new ones. Um, since Hurricane Maria, everything is slowly, slowly being repaired, which is great, but it's just taking its time. When it comes to nature, Dominica does not mess about. After all, it is known as the nature island of the Caribbean. A big thing to do in Dominica is hike, especially the White Okobuli Trail, but that takes from 10 to 14 days, so I didn't really have the time. Instead, I opted for this river hike to Victoria Falls, which was pretty damn impressive. This morning we're heading to Victoria Falls, which involves a sweaty walk through a jungle, and then a longer walk up the river. The White River. The White, White River. river. Yeah. Doesn't look very white today, uh, does it? The, the normally white river, which today is pretty, pretty green. Other than its awesome nature, there's a big cultural aspect to visiting Dominica. Ross, welcome to Casa Bruce. Connecting with people, whether it was by staying in guest houses, wandering through Roseau, the capital, or just by asking directions, was probably the best part of my trip. Thanks, mate. Thank Have you. a good day. Thanks for you the directions, too. okay? Hey, we man. Bye bye. Bye bye. To top it off, the Kalinago community on the east coast of the island is home to Dominica's indigenous people. Despite facing significant challenges and oppression throughout history, including colonization, forced relocation, the Kalinago people have managed to preserve their culture and traditions, and is very much evident today in Dominica. Subscribe for more Kilted Adventures and travel stories, and if you're ever heading to Dominica, get in touch.